We're going to turn now to President Obama's first official physical in the White House. He is in great shape with the heart rate of an athlete, but Press Secretary Robert Gibbs had to bat back a flurry of questions yesterday about some presidential habits the doctors want him to control. And Jake, uh, Jake Tapper joins us at the White House now. Jake, Gibbs almost seemed to enjoy it. That's right. The White House insists there's nothing tactical about this. They're not trying to make the president seem like an every man. They're just trying to be upfront about his health. But it is clear for the millions of Americans out there who struggle with cigarettes and high cholesterol, the president feels your pain. The president's proclivity for Marlboros has been a hard habit to break. He spoke about it last summer. As a former smoker, I constantly struggle with it. I don't do it in front of my kids. I don't do it in front of uh, my family. I would say that I am 95% cured. But that may not be enough for his wife, who in 2007 told CBS's 60 Minutes that he had to quit. That was one of my prerequisites for, uh, you know, entering into this race is that, you know, he couldn't be a, a smoking president. Of course, since then, the president has assumed the weight of the world. Is it more difficult because this is probably the most stressful year he's ever had? I would. Assume. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I can't imagine that that helps. Smoking can also impact a patient's LDL, so-called bad cholesterol. And that was the doctor's second concern. The president's LDL level is elevated. Two years ago, the president scored 96. Today, he's at 138, rated borderline high by the American Heart Association. The White House blamed it on his 2008 campaign diet and a White House chef at his beck and call. Oh, you guys think he eats carrots and celery, and uh, uh, there's more uh, cheeseburgers, fries, and pie than, uh, than you previously knew. On Marine One, on the way back from the National Naval Medical Center, the president said, look, I just have to say no to dessert more often. He's just got to use a little bit more uh, presidential restraint. And one other, one other interesting tidbit, George, for the 48-year-old, uh, 180-pound president. He had a virtual colonoscopy. They decided to do that instead of a standard colonoscopy because they didn't want to have the transfer of power necessary for when the president would go under anesthesia. George. Okay, Jake, thanks very much. Let's bring in Dr. Richard Besser uh, now. And, and Rich, 95% cure to smoking. That's been the White House line right. for about a year right now. Now, I guess that is not the kind of term a doctor would use. Well, what does it mean exactly? Well, yeah, it's not this, the kind of term you'd use. 95% of what? It depends where you, you started from. Clearly, it, it sounds like he's making progress. He's getting closer to quitting. And it's easier to quit if you're a light smoker than you're a heavy smoker. But he hasn't quit. Right, but, I, you know, we were talking about this yesterday after we first learned about it. My reaction is, what is the big deal? He's got the most stressful job in the planet, a couple cigarettes a day, right. so what? You know, there's more and more research coming out on the impact of light smoking. And what you're finding is that if you have three cigarettes a day, you have about 70% of the risk of someone who's 70%? having a, two packs a day. Yeah, so there is a lot of cardiovascular problem from just a few cigarettes a day. Getting cigarettes totally out is what you have to shoot for. Most people who try and quit smoking, they fail the first few times. And so he shouldn't give up. He's in a great position to teach the country about how hard it is, but how you can succeed. How do you take the last step? Well, you need help. You know, he's doing the Nicorette gum, which is, which is a plus. You need to be under support. Even with those supports, only about 30 to 40% will be smoke-free at a year. But if you do it on your own, 95% of people at the end of a year will be back to smoking. President, clearly in, in great shape, uh, 180 pounds, low heart rate, yet his cholesterol goes up. Yeah. You know, he went from two years ago, he had a cholesterol below 100 which is in the optimal range. Now it's above 130, which is in that borderline high range. Uh, you know, the, the press secretary blames it on his diet, and, and that's a good place to start. He has some other markers, though, that are, are very good signs of cardiac health. You look at the ratio of your total cholesterol to your, to, uh, to your high cholesterol, and you, you want that under, under 5. His is 3.4, which is really very good. You also look at something called your CRP, and you want that under one. His is very low. So there's some mixed markers, and he can go after that but with diet. If, but, but if it's, but we only have a few seconds left here, but if it's, if it's borderline, why not just take the statins? Uh, I think that putting someone on a drug for their entire life when you can treat it with diet isn't the way to go. There's some mixed opinions on that, but he's going to tackle it by eliminating those bad fats and adding those fruits, vegetables, and fiber. Okay, Rich Besser, thanks very much.